Hey everybody, watch this review here, and well, something's been bothering me for a while here, folks. I mean, all the time you'll see these reviews for Sentinels and Galactuses and so forth. You know who you don't see a review for? Fin Fang Foom. And here he is. Ha! I bet some of you might have thought I meant the build figure if you weren't paying attention to the actual um, heading, but this in fact is the Hero Clicks version which is a crazy sick looking figure. Unfortunately, it's more of a statue than a figure because he in fact is not articulate in the least, except from the base of the figure, which has the game information. But I mean, look at this. This is just incredible. Um, got him cheap, but as a result, because he was actually a comic book display version, like. They would just leave him out, and I guess they got rid of the actual stuff, so all I got was the box and the figure. I guess I saved a few, and I probably won't ever play the uh, game, but... Actually, if anybody knows where I can find the actual data, like the uh, card that he would have come with, and like the special chips or whatever that he would have had, you know, just um, link me to it so I can like print a copy out if I ever decide to play with him, but... Anybody familiar with Hero Clicks will know that he has the average character has one dial. He has one, two, three, four dials. Pretty badass, huh? I think they're all just normal combat dials. Like you have to deplete one, then the next one kicks in, or maybe it's four different styles, but. It's an incredibly kick-ass looking figure. Um, for size comparison, why don't we bring in a Sentinel? Because everybody loves Sentinels. Just try to get him in there and then push the Sentinel. Because I can't actually position him because... Here's the Sentinel. Ah, bet you thought it meant the Build-A-Figure. But I do not. I, in fact, mean the Heroclix version as well. Which, by the way, I came detached from Stan. I don't know why they did that. I guess the seller must have been like a little bit of a dick or something, because no matter what sort of glue I use, it can't get them on, but... This is either the Days of the Future Past Sentinel for the box set or the normal version. Also, pretty kick ass looking figure. Let me adjust the lighting. Not a second light. This doesn't look too glossy, but. Pretty kick ass looking face on this figure. Overly glossy body. The uh, real cool part about it is it really looks like the uh, Sentinel from the animated series. And um, the more traditional ones were the Sentinel build a figures. More of a modern design, but. Um, Fin Fin Foom is 13 inches tall. Let me just quickly pop him up against a sentinel. This time it is the real sentinel. Or the build figure sentinel. And as you can see, build a figure sentinel. Actually, you can't see. Damn it. Yeah. Here it goes. Build a figure sentinel kind of towers over him. But I mean, this is just one incredible looking figure. Which you can, um, there are actually a crazy number of variants for it. There's the limited edition, I don't know, one of their convention figures, which is completely orange, which I was originally going to buy. But there's also a purple pants version because. He first appeared with the purple pants, I believe. And purple pants are just a big running gag where you have a big green guy with purple pants or some monsters wearing pants. Never been fond of it, but you know, teach their own. I mean, look at that face. That is one incredible looking face. Um, before I forget, these are horror clicks. It was a um, spin-off from the Heroclix series, which in itself was a spin-off from WizKids, um... What the heck series was that? Mage Knight. That's the name of it. 
check these out. These are also pretty kick-ass. The detail up close on them is like pretty terrible, but they're actually really cool from a distance. Of course, um, you won't be able to make out great with this camera either way. But they each come with a card, whereas some of the hero clicks for some reason weren't. Which has details and special abilities at point value and a cool little blurb on the back. I mean, it's just like Hero Clicks, but it just deals with horror characters. I actually have the box set and so forth. I'll probably go into better detail about this at some other point, but um, Fin Fang Foom is definitely worth picking up. If you can pick it up cheap, it'll range you from between, I think the auction price will go for between 25 to 50 for the uh, normal or purple pants probably, then maybe a bit more for the orange variant. Galactus though is insanely costly. I mean, it's always 50 plus for Galactus, which was a, um, another Hero Clicks figure that came from an earlier one. It was the first giant sized one. And um, those little sentinels that I showed you run for between 15 to 30. Some originally came in a box set, but then, um, actually originally came in a separate blister for, I think, about 20. And then it came with a box set later on with, a, um, with two other figures, I can't remember which ones they were. But um, that one was a bit costlier. I mean, obviously, you'd probably just want the Sentinel on its own as either display piece. Like the Fin Fang Foom's just a completely awesome display piece. At some point, I'll probably toss together some pictures of it next to like some of the heroes just to give like a crazy spiegel comparison but I mean it's definitely just something cool for just around and just as a display piece but um until next time